All right, joined now by Dynamo goalkeeper Marco Marich. Marco, can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay, and I can hear you as well. Um, first of all, congratulations on the win. Congratulations on the clean sheet. Um, I'll start off just, you know, tell me uh, from your perspective and goal, uh, how you feel like the team played this evening and just kind of the, the overall team performance. I think it was good. Uh, we, it was from the start into the game. I think we gave from the first minute uh, Kansas there. We want to win the game today. And, uh, on every ball, every tackle, we, we played like a team and uh, we played today like a like a winning team, like a team who wants to win and take three points at home. And I asked Tab this, but um, you know, looking at the context of the season, you know, he said that he felt like you guys should have beaten Los Angeles, should have beaten Dallas. You got another game in three days in Colorado. How important was it to to come out with the win tonight after y'all took the leader in the second? I didn't. I'm sorry, I didn't understand anything. How important was it? How important was it to to finish the game out and get the win tonight after two games that you ended in ties that you maybe could have won? Uh, it's it's very important because uh, it's every time difficult to play three games in one week, and especially like the two last games we played uh, a draw. It's everything is a process. A process, and uh, we are getting like the season is still long. We are trying to getting the taste of winning games in a row, hopefully. Uh, but it's it's an important game to win at home because you fly on, on Saturday to Colorado. And it's very time difficult if you play away, you have to fly it and everything around. So the three points was very important. It can be a change in the in the season. Okay. I'm gonna go to a question on Zoom. Uh, Garrett Heinrich, go ahead, Garrett. Hey Marco, um, multiple saves tonight. Did you were you just uh, in a zone, and and then Tab said you weren't feeling very well. So is he going to try to get you sick before every game? Uh, no, I hope not, because this pain. Uh, it's uh, listen. I just try to help my team. With pain, without pain, I just try to give my best. Even when people sometimes say it's not smart enough, but I felt like I can help my team, and I did it. Thank God, and uh, this was the most important thing, and. I hope nobody gets sick because it's not a nice feeling. But I'm happy that we just took, took the three points today. Uh, you had a really big save against Polito in the in the second half. Just what did you see there? How did you feel about about yourself after after making that big stop? Uh, save is a save. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it was good. To hear, I don't know. <laughs> it's a difficult answer. What I saw, I just tried to save the ball. And uh, uh, to be honest, the uh, important part is because he, he had so much free space, it's what that I don't gamble. But he maybe go right or left. I was just saying, staying and waiting for the ball. And then uh, I save it. It can also go the other way. But uh, this day it went uh, on, my, on my side and I save it. Awesome. Thank you. And uh, we've got a couple of questions here in the press box. I'm going to step aside and let Corey Repkin from the Houston Chronicle go. Go ahead, Corey. Hey, Marco. When you guys see Tab, um, you know, run down and, and, and get the red card, how, how do you guys respond to that, seeing his passion? Uh, it's, it just shows so that we are all on one page, I would say. Everybody wants to win, from, from the coach to – our physios to our kidmans, everybody wants to win. And all in one way. And stuff like this happened. For me, this is football. Football without passion is not nothing. Like the passion is love, you know. We love this sport. So there, there are emotions, sometimes in the wrong way, sometimes in a good way. But uh, I think I have nothing to say. I think this is just showing that uh, I want to win every game. And and I know you you don't know all about Derek Jones' background, but but when you see him coming in here and try to learn a new position and then kind of break out with a huge play tonight, well, how how did you view that? I mean, first of all, Derek is straight in front of me, so now I, <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> no, I think for, for, to be honest, for every player who comes new in the team, is he needs time to come into the team and feel. We are playing and feeling the player around him. And Derek played today for me a fantastic game. Uh, he his best side. And uh, 
he helped us a lot and he just have to continue and doing his hard work, hard work that he's doing. Thanks. And one more question here in the press box from Christian Patayas. Go ahead, Christian. Hey, how's it going, Marco? So today you had your first clean sheet of the of the season. So how does that how does that feel, you know, come coming in today or I guess leaving today? Does that make you any feel any type of way? Of course, because it just shows that we work in a that we are constant in the, in the background. It's not only me, it's all the guys who played on the field today. My in front of me, my midfield players and, and the strikers. It's nice just to have a, a clean house at home and uh, get the win also, the, uh, also. So it's a nice feeling to go home and sleep. And then another question, you know, when you play uh, against teams and players like Alan Pulido, do, do you as a keeper prepare in any type of way against like number nines like that? You know, like box number nines uh, given to somebody that maybe plays with the wings or something like that? I think I said it before, I prepare for every game, like, like for every team the same. Of course, I watch videos and see what the guys are doing and how they play and what's 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 the weakness, what's the strength. And uh, you can, you can of course, you can watch the player, but it's difficult in the game. Can everything happen? It can suddenly change. But uh, I prepare myself and try to know the other, other opponent's players, but still everything can happen. Uh, thank you. Have a good night. All right, any additional questions from Marco, guys, before we let him go? All right, I don't see anything. Uh, Marco, thank you for the time. Congratulations again on the clean sheet and the win.